Hi, my name is Annalie Rugg. I'm the director at the UCLA Center for Digital Humanities. This, this is the information age, and at the Center for Digital Humanities, we work primarily in inf through, with information in a digital environment. And your, your ability to choose the information and assemble it into uh, intellectually sound and intellectually interesting ways for your students is why one of the reasons that you're here. We work with faculty on a lot of digital projects, uh, course websites, and generally uh, advising faculty on how best to work with technology uh, for teaching and research. When, when someone comes to me, you're a faculty member, you come to me and you say, Annalie, I really would like to turn some of my readings, my course readings, into digital format and make them available to my students. There's one sticking point. Um, many of those resources are going to have copyright assigned to them. Despite the fact that there's a password for a course website, that doesn't give you the freedom to just put anything and everything on the course website. Um, the copyright and licensing librarian has helped us in several situations where I would not have known really how to advise a faculty member. Um, for example, uh, course readings. It's natural to want to put those online. Um, how do you get copyright clearance for those materials? Uh, the good thing is we don't have to determine that all on our own. Uh, we have help. We can consult one-on-one -on -one with someone who knows how to determine whether something falls under fair use, whether it doesn't, and what to do as next steps. What we can choose from to put in, that's available in the library, what is available elsewhere, what is and isn't uh, in or out of copyright, and basically how to get to the end point, which is to make the materials accessible to our students in the most accessible way possible. Another example of the way in which the uh, copyright and licensing librarian can help is uh, with regard to student projects. Um, we want to give our students the freedom to use as many of the materials that are available in the digital world, um, and sometimes they need to understand what they can make use of in terms of fair use and what they need to be more careful about. Again, this is a, a situation where the copyright and licensing librarian can help a great deal. Uh, this person can come in and not only consult with the instructor, but actually do a presentation to the students and give them some information about where to go for freely available resources um, and what sorts of information and resources they need to um, be careful about how they incorporate into their projects. So if, if you're a faculty member who is somewhere in the process of trying to understand what to do with the information that you have at your disposal and you're not sure where to go with it, no matter where you are in that process, you have available to you a copyright and licensing librarian who has behind him uh, resources in the library and elsewhere on campus to help you determine how to go forward. It enables you to focus on what you do best, which is choosing the content that you need to make available to your students um, and assembling it in a, in a sensible and interesting curriculum.